What's up everyone and welcome back to another Oxygen Not Included Build video. Uh, it's, it's more like a revamp video, I guess. We're kind of remodeling one of our old systems, the dirt cooker, as you probably saw in the title. And uh, mainly it's because, well, the old system was not great, but it was kind of the best we could do as far as an automated system goes. And now we have much better options with the new conveyor changes. Um, I am in the beta branch, by the way, so I do have access to all these nice little automation changes. So we've got first off the conveyor shut off, which does exactly as you would expect. It shuts off the conveyor. And then we have a conveyor ore dropper, which is kind of confusing because it doesn't just drop ore, it drops anything um you know at, at first when i first heard it, i was like wait a minute does it only drop metal ore that's kind of useless almost but uh no it, it drops everything so that's good <laughs> really good news um, but essentially it functions the exact same as our old dirt cooker and i've added some additions to the cooling uh which i'll go over in a sec but actually let's just go over it right now so the aqua tuna room is pretty much the same but the cooling has gotten two additional tanks and these essentially are just to make the system a little smoother as well as preventing some um, backups that happen so i guess i'll go ahead and, and explain the entire system so uh, the oil goes into the aqua tuner through our main tank here comes out goes through a temperature check right here which is set at zero degrees below zero so if the oil is below zero degrees it will turn on this valve through automation um, and pump it through our cooling loop, which right now we just have set to magma, but you know, this magma is representative of all the machinery in your base or maybe oxygen you want to cool or something, you know, whatever you're trying to cool in your base, that's what this magma represents. Um, so yeah, it goes through the cooling loop, comes back around, goes through another temperature check. If it is below 10 degrees, it's still pretty cool. So it still has a lot of potential to cool things down. We don't need to send it back through the aqua tuner yet. So if it is below 10 degrees then it the valve stays off and it goes into this buffer tank which goes back through the cooling loop bypassing all of the cooling stuff if it is not below 10 degrees so it's actually hotter than that then the valve opens up allowing it into this tank now if we don't have this tank here and this is trying to pump oil into this tank as well as oil coming from the aqua tuner trying to go into this tank then it's going to slow the system down. Only one packet is going to be able to enter at any given time, which means this line over here could back up. And if it's backed up, the oil will have no other path but back through here. So even hot oil might make it back into the cooling loop. So we need this buffer tank here to catch any oil that wants to come through this valve. And the way these bridges are set up, the aqua tuner has priority of this main tank here. So we've got a bridge going like this and then a pipe over and up. And then this one goes out to this bridge, which, you know, connects to that pipe. So this just essentially makes sure that the aqua tuner can empty into this before this tank can empty into this. So that's how that system works. Uh, but yeah, it just makes the whole system a lot smoother and a lot better. So let's look at the main changes, though. So over here, we've got our slime storage room, which is obviously conveying the slime up to this room now um it the conveyor rail just shoots right across these inputs here and um the inputs are obviously conveyed to the ore droppers which are on top of the weight plates the weight plates control each valve uh you know for for the correct the correct shutoff um, so it drops the slime on top here and once the slime gets the temperature uh, 125 it solidifies into a block the robo miner digs it out and it gets shipped off to wherever uh, so some important things about this is that the weight plates share the property of the metal or, or the weight plates are essentially the exact same as a metal tile they just have the the automation aspect to them that as far as the heat capacity thermal conductivity all that is the exact same as um, just a regular metal tile so we're not losing any kind of heat transfer or anything like that one thing I might do um, in this system is actually move all of this up one tile because if we wait here for a second, you can see that this little building entombment pops up. So every time it solidifies, even if it's just there for like a second, you know, it, it still pops up this building entombment and it does it a lot. Uh, we, if we put it on super speed here, you can see this just that's going to get annoying. So. Um, if I was building the system uh, in like a regular base, I would just definitely move all this up one tile 
Um, I'm pretty sure these can still reach. Actually, let me make sure. Ah, I can't. Interesting. Okay. So, we could still do it. Probably just make this room slightly bigger or rearrange some of the loader and the robo miner. Um, I think the robo miner might be able to. The robo miner pr could probably still hit from. Yeah, see, so the robo miner could hit from like way up here. So, uh, potentially we just, you know, add more room to that. But definitely move this stuff up one tile because that's going to get annoying as heck over hundreds of cycles. Uh, but yeah, that's the new dirt cooker. It's much better than trying to use polluted water because polluted water is just not very good as far as dirt production goes. It gives you very little dirt. Even if you're running it through a sieve, it is more dirt than cooking it, um, turning it into a steam, but it, it's still not a lot compared to this system, which is like I was getting 1,300 kilograms per cycle or something set at uh, the weight plate set at 60 kilograms. Um, I did... The reason I have three is because I tested it a little bit with different um, amounts on the weight plates and 60 kilograms seems to work the best. 2059. Yeah, see, I've got a little bit more on the 60 kilograms than I do the 20 kilogram uh, weight plates here. So 60 seems to work pretty good. I haven't tested any other numbers aside from these, but I imagine somewhere around 60 is probably a pretty good amount. And anything that you get like any improvement over that is just going to be pretty minor. So I'll probably just be running with 60. Maybe I'll tinker around with it in game or something. But yeah, that's the system. Um, I'm really excited for these changes. I can't wait for Mark III to drop because of mainly because of this. It's like it's going to be so much dirt. Um, let's see, so yeah, I, was, I think like six plants per cycle. So like six. Handle, it can handle like six sleet wheat plants per cycle for one of these. So essentially, you know, let's see this power. Uh, I, I think the biggest challenge in order to get like more dirt is actually going to be cooling things down because this can only run as long as you can dump heat into this coolant, you know, so the aqua tuner can, can continue to cool it down. Um, so setting up one of these systems, you're probably fine, but setting up like two or three, which is what you'll probably want to do because, well, you know, to, to have a reliable source of dirt via slime, then you're going to want multiple of these systems, but problem is where are you going to get all that heat? Uh, but yeah, so that's the new system. I'm like I said, I'm really excited for it. I hope you all are as well. I think quality of life Mark three is going to be amazing. And I believe it's the last patch before the game launches, so for reals, it's it's finally going to be out of early access, which is awesome. So I'm hoping a lot more people come to the game and whatnot. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Leave me any questions or suggestions or anything like that in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I do upload regularly and I read all my comments. So thank you again for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.